Hi Leo, getting ready to do your reading. We're going to see what is showing up for you at this time. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, what is going on for Leo Spirit? What is going on for Leo? Oh, the snake card came out again today. So it says, deception, shady, temptation, or enemy. On my mind, I think it's tempting. I think because I think something is tempting you or you are tempting someone, Leo. So I'm going to be surprised if you're tempting someone with your fire energy. But, um, oh, that one just flew right out. Something is growing closer. Okay, so probably some sort of communication. Let me do one more. Can't let go. Okay. So either you've been tempting a Leo or you have tempted someone, Leo. They can't let go. They've been thinking about you. Feels Okay, you know what I'm kind of getting with this too? They're waiting for you to reach out and to make the next move so they don't have to. So they're kind of like laying in wait, I guess you could say. You've been on their mind. It's growing closer. They just can't let go. Let go. So they're probably going to reach out. Let's see. Okay, someone is... Okay, so this card comes out when it's an ending a death. Um, ex experiencing a breakup, a divorce. Maybe you broke up with this person. Or they're breaking up or something. One more, please. Leo. So set sail on a new adventure, explore beyond the horizon. Some of you are just single. I get like, I, I'm going to actually put that on that card, I think. Because I'm getting, some of you, you're single now, or they're single, but, and now they know you're single, and they want to start something new with you. Like maybe you divorced a, a while ago, or you broke up a while ago, or something like that, you've been single, or something like that, or they, or them. Okay, what is going on for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on? I'm trying to decide two of coins, the Fool. Yep, Four of Cups, the Devil. Yeah, I get obsessed a little bit here. And the Moon. Maybe a Pisces, Capricorn here. Feeling way down, feeling emotional. I bet if we pulled cards, what they would say, they would say something about being emotional. I'll, I'll move these over. So this is kind of like, again, maybe a little obsessed, but, you know, thinking about you all the time, happy, the fool, feeling giddy, feeling foolish, wanting to ask you out, thinking about this a lot. All right, so maybe also, I'm kind of getting maybe if you have had a breakup or something like that, or they have, maybe they were thinking like, oh, there's a, they need to wait a certain amount of time, you know, need to wait a week or a month or a year. I don't know, but I mean, it's kind of like that energy, I'm like, of this um, two of coins. Should I? Should I ask him out already? What's going on here for Leo? Feeling way down. I don't want to not. Yeah, see, look, why, why are they not moving forward? Okay, whoever you're dealing with overthinks things. I can already tell right now. It's like they go, like, Yes, I should ask him out. Then, no, I shouldn't. Okay, so Knight of Wands. I kind of get like they are coming towards you, but I'm kind of also got kind of like sh they're acting, they're thinking. I'm sorry, let me put into words I'm getting. How should I approach Leo? Um, should I be like Rico Suave? Should I like play it cool? Should I, you know, act like I'm really busy and I got so much to do and I don't have t time for them? So they're also thinking like they don't want to come across as too like needy or really wanting to see you or, you know, yeah, the sun's here. Okay. There's your energy, of course, wanting to ask you out. But at the same time, this person's thinking like, okay, I gotta play it cool. I gotta like act like I really don't care so I don't come across like, you know, I'm obsessed with Leo. It's kind of what I'm getting here. But you see this person is actually so much in their head. I think they're exhausting themselves with the nine of wands. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm just seeing, stopping and seeing if I pick up anything else off of this row right here, especially. Let's do the Wheel of Fortune. Tower, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting. I'm sorry for the glare. I gotta see which light that is up there and turn it off. Um, they're like, what is this sun? What is this sun? Your person's just over, listen to their intuition. So that's better. If they tap into their intuition, they're gonna know when to reach out to you. What is eight of swords? Yep, yeah. ace of wands and the strength card, the world, a new beginning. Let me do one more for that. Yep, yeah, king of wands. So I mean, this could be you. This could be them. They might be a fire sign like you. I just know that that like after doing personal readings for so many years, everyone is just well, not everyone, but most a lot of people are just drawn to that fire energy. You know, not just like Sagittarius. I see a lot, but Leo people are really drawn to you because you have that fire, that allure, that energy that just draws people in. Because you guys are fun, you're warm. 
Let me see. Let me see. I think I wrote this deck. What do we need to know about this person? Some of you, you may work at a bank or a hospital. Um, I, I get this person could be acting kind of distant or cold or nervous around you at times. Others of you, I get you don't see this person all the time. They're not always around for some reason. If you don't work, they might be like a neighbor or some of you are part of some sort of group, club, association, something like that. Let's see, what does Leo need to know? Engagement ring. Wow, jumping ahead. Higher commitment, oh, eternity, partnership, union, and completion. So this person definitely has some sort of partnership on their mind. Camera. So they've been thinking about you probably online too with camera card, but it does say reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past and perception. Wow, to wedding rings. One of you been one of you has been married. Now I'm wondering now if somebody has been divorced and someone's kind of cautious. You don't want it to end in divorce, or they don't want to end in divorce, or they're, um, you guys, this person could be planning your wedding already. I mean, they could be thinking about the future and the two of you living together, and because they do have that energy of being kind of like giddy, overwhelmed, like, oh my God, what are we going to do next? We got the moon, we got the sun, thinking about you night and day. There could be some astral traveling with a high priestess in that position, maybe. That's not really my astral traveling combination, but just kind of like thinking about you so much. Uh, they, this person might actually be a little bit in, intuitive. I don't even, even know who this person is. Maybe you met them at a wedding over the summer or spring or something like that, possibly. Just throwing that out there because of wedding rings. I'm not getting that strongly from most of you, but um, passion. Wow. Even teddy bears under the deck. A lot of cuddles, a lot of passion energy. I like some of this energy is yours, though. Tell me something about this person. Tell me something about this person. They may have just moved, or you moved, or something may have just moved for some reason. I'm getting someone may feel be someone may be new in town. Some may also have high school kids. I get also someone starting school and being nervous, feeling kind of like not an outcast, but I mean you're new and you like people already have cliques or like they already have friend groups. Some may be baking a lot too, or getting ready to bake, or excited that like fall is coming in, winter the seasons are changing, getting ready for football season or something along that line as well. But now I'm seeing like leaves. Some may be uh, working out more or walking. I some like starting a walking regimen, which I think that's great. What about this person? The person follows you on social media, so they must know you well enough to know your, you know, what your name is, who you are, that type of thing. Uh, they may have blonde hair for some of you, very specific won't resonate for all of you, but for some of you that you don't know who this is, now they could also be on social media. They may have blonde, blondish hair, curvy. This could be describing you. So if I'm coming across, or the cards are coming across, and this is actually describing you, um, they are thinking about you right now. And I don't see. Let's keep going. Only has eyes for you. Meeting at, me, this could be a meeting at work. Curvy. Like obviously we all know what curvy is. If it's a guy, because we wouldn't normally really sometimes curvy can mean on a guy, maybe yeah, they have muscles or muscly. They could be a little overweight, have like a dad bod. Um so they but they but I they wouldn't be like stick thin. Masking if they're tall. I'm not really getting a response, so I don't think they're super tall or anything. So that's for those of you who don't know who they are. And obviously, yes, they could be a woman, so it doesn't always have to be a man. So that's intrigued with you. What else does Leo need to know? I'm going to pull actually from... No, I don't want that deck. I want to, what they would say deck. What does Leo need to know about this person? Love at first... Oh, no. It says love yourself first. I got love at first sight. So I'm wondering if this person fell in love with you at first sight, like right when they met you. But the card actually says love yourself first. Some of you, this was around 4th of July. So sometime around maybe late June in July, you met this person or talked to this person or something like that. I'm getting with the fireworks right there. Love at first sight. Someone saw you in July. It was love at first sight. And again, it may have been like late June, late July, something like that. That may have been your timeline. Maybe you went to a barbecue or a friend's party or you went to the mall. I'm getting something about a mall too. I'm seeing a very crowded indoor area. So I don't know what they're showing me for somebody. Romantic feelings. 
some of you are also like, I don't know, at a gym working out, like really focused on yourself. Some of you went and got glasses too recently, or you had your eyes checked, or you got contacts or something as well. But I'm getting maybe also someone to the dentist or someone taking care of yourself. You were out doing something for you, shopping, being um, healthy. What would this person say to you right now? What would this person say? I love you unconditionally. I want to start over. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys ever had anything started, but I'm getting symbol here. Somebody here is also very flexible. I don't know what that means. You've been stretching or you can do back bends or something. Okay. I daydream about a life with you and I feel so drawn to you. I want you is under the deck. These make sense. So I'm thinking there's something here also temptation, like very tempting to this person. You're very alluring. This person is very drawn to you. That makes complete sense. That reminded me now of this card. This person may have blue eyes. They don't need to, but just the eyes on the snake are like obviously lit up. So they could have any color, but very beautiful eyes, or maybe you do. Um, someone, maybe you were at PetSmart, Petco or someplace, or maybe you were, you know, shopping for a pet or to spend time with your pet, take care of your pet, something like that may have also been where you met this person. I'm noticing with this week of readings, there's definitely new love showing up for a lot of people. I feel like there's energy shifting. I think that Aries full moon was very difficult for some people. But I feel like there's a good shift here coming in, especially that, you know, the end of the year, the next three months. I'm noticing people being more open to love. To the sea. So this can talk about divine timing, actually. This talks about just going with the flow. It can have something to do with travel, water, going to the water, something like that. But um, number seven, yeah. So just go with the flow, be open, be ready. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Leo. Have a really great week, you guys.